All right, I'm removing her off the board. I've got a, another project I need to get started on, so I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to show you in a second here what I'm going to do. Um, I'm thinking about uh, doing a sculpture of Jim Bridger, and uh, see how you get my screws, and uh, that's what I'm thinking about doing. Jim Bridger, if you don't know his history, uh, was a famous mountain man who came out west in the early part of the fur trade. And one of the sad things is, I'm going to break off his legs. There. See how easy it is to break off a leg? There we go. Anyway, I'm going to anchor this guy right to the board. I'm going to show you that you can use these uh, true form armatures for uh, a sculpture. It'll save you a lot of clay. And uh, I'm going to drive this uh, screw right into the board. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do. Um, but uh, be right back when I figure it out. <laughs> By the way, in the background, you see pictures that I have in my studio. This one is of my daughter, Heidi. Uh, let's see, get it right there. She had a birthday uh, last month. And uh, she, this is taken up in Virginia City. Uh, dressed up in an outfit that uh, we had made for uh, We used to have uh, Mountain Man shootouts here at the uh, a local gun, gun store that no longer exists here. But uh, this was taken at uh, Virginia City in their old time uh, uh, Photoshop. And uh, this one here is a picture of my mom taken back in the early 40s when she was a, a registered nurse. Uh, or just going to school as for to be a nurse, and just after my dad uh, married her, uh, beautiful woman, and such an incredible mother. Uh, I have no complaints about my mom. I don't know how many of you have uh, ever heard of Chance Phelps. There was an HBO movie made a while back uh, called Taking Chance, and Kevin Bacon played an officer who. Uh, brought back uh, to the United States and to the family of a fallen hero, Chance Phelps. I happen to be a friend of uh, John Phelps, who is a heck of an artist, probably one of the top Western artists in the country, and that's his father. And uh, he set up a foundation, and you buy clothing and gear and stuff like that from him, or from that website and uh, money is used for uh, soldiers' families and, and the fallen uh, uh, fallen soldiers and, and wounded soldiers, I think. Anyway, you'll get more information from the website, but uh, let me show you. This is the uh, emblem on the shirt, and I think if I turn around, you might be able to see the uh, website address on the back of my shirt. If you're so inclined to uh, help those who defend our freedoms, uh, go to his website and buy a few things. It, uh, it goes for a good cause. What I'm thinking of doing is uh, putting a rifle in his hand that's resting on the ground, and uh, his hands will be, one will be on top of the barrel, the other one will be uh, holding uh, the barrel. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out how to do this and keep it all in a, close to the body so that uh, it can uh, be cast in one piece. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. Now, first things first, need to 
put the uh, clay on the sculpture. I'm just going to remove the arms for now. Just because I don't need them there, uh, getting in the way. That's the nice thing about true form armatures is that you can uh, remove parts of the person. And you can even work on them separate if you want to. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, fill in the uh, thorax area and the abdomen. Add, add, whatever it's called. <laughs> By the way, you can adjust the height or the distance of the uh, rib cage from the uh, hips by moving uh, the uh, thorax up and down. And, and the reason I'm using this armature instead of just making my own is because uh, I just wanted to show you some of the uh, things that you can do with it. Now the uh, hips are a bit wide for a, a male. Take them down a little bit. There we go. If uh, you're using the armature as a uh, armature for a female, uh, leave the hips and uh, shorten the length of the. Uh, distance between the center of the uh, thorax to the shoulder. Males are two heads wide, females are one and a half heads wide. Now this is set for two heads wide, so uh, just uh, keep that in mind when you're working with these armatures. Uh, they're meant to be uh, adapted, you might say. The thorax they give you is also reduced in size a little bit uh, because they want to leave it for you to add ribs if you want to to the surface. I'm not going to do that because his shirt will be on over this, but I am going to definitely make it thicker only because it would be uh, quite a bit thicker than what it, they give you. Again, just uh, leaving it open for you and uh, with some thought for what you might or might not want to do with these armatures. I see why I moved the arm out of the way. This is Jim Bridger here, and uh, he was uh, one of the early mountain men. Uh, this is in his later years when he had a trading post uh, at Fort Bridger, Wyoming, just over the border from Utah. Anyway, I just uh, wanted to show you that I'm thinking of doing that. I don't know if I will, and if I do, I'm going to have to look at this face and uh, determine what he might have looked like when he was younger. I think once you, you get used to sculpting the human anatomy, you're, you're given a little more leeway as far as uh, what you have to do to prepare a sculpture for the outer clothing. I just feel like I don't have to go through as much work to uh, do all the muscles. I know where they are, and I can just shape the legs to... Uh, match what I know and uh, let it go from there. Now I may have to put a screw into that clay just to keep the clay in position. I may want to slide down that leg. 
And I'll come to that when I get to it. Right now I'm just blocking in uh, the body of the uh, mountain man. It's been an interesting things about mountain man. They, they probably shaved more than uh, what they're shown to do in well, modern day mountain men, they have a lot of beards and stuff like that. Not all of them, but some of them do. And uh, one of the biggest things they sold or traded for at Rendezvous, and that's where they would get together uh, several times, maybe a couple times a year to sell their plues, which is another word for uh, their furs. Um, one of the main things that they traded for was... Uh, shaving kits so the women if they had a wife that was a Native American uh, her face uh, would not be used to a beard and uh, would get irritated by the feel of the hair on their faces now Native Americans did grow beards but they usually plucked the hairs out. And, uh, the skull that oh these uh, armatures is just the guide. You have to know your anatomy and uh, know what a male's jaw looks like and what a female's jaw looks like. And uh, let's see. be able to uh, sculpt the skull and correct uh, those things that are left for you to correct on the armature. The armature, like I said, is nothing more than a guide. It's not meant to be uh, the actual skull, although it's made in proportion to a skull. Now, whether I do Jim Bridger or not, I don't know. Right now, it's, that's my goal, but uh, goals can change as I work on it. I want to take this moment to... Uh, Give you a little, uh, well, do a little self-promotion here. I'm, uh, I've produced eight instructional DVDs on how to sculpt. Uh, and it's, I try to show you the tips and the tricks of making things look a certain way. Um, you know, feeding off of my almost 50 years of uh, sculpting and uh, but anyway I've got eight DVDs uh, I uh, have them listed below in the uh, video description of this uh, video and uh, if you want uh, to check them out uh, I'll put a link here to uh, a video that shows you uh, some of them, kind of a little preview of each one, and uh, just follow the instructions on where to buy them. Uh, each one's just a little over an hour, maybe an hour and a half on some of them, or close to it, and uh, they, you might learn something from it, I don't know. I just do the best I can do, and I give away a lot of the information here, but there on the DVD, you've got it all in one place. And, uh, and uh, you can have it around for as long as you want. It, it plays on both uh, computer and uh, TV off your Blu-ray or DVD player. It uh, Works on a P, uh, 
Macintosh, but you kind of have to buy, or not buy, but download a free program called VLC, which is a uh, video player that's free. And I include with all the sales of my DVDs, I include an information sheet on websites and stuff like that. And, and one of them, I think, I've got the, the uh, link for getting the VLC. It's a good uh, video program, no matter whether you've got a PC or a Mac. But it allows you to play uh, HP-based uh, videos. And uh, my video is an HP-based video, but uh, like I said, you can play it on your DVD player, too. That's going to be it for today. I got the foundation for the uh, under under the clothes uh, going. I've got uh, the neck established. I'll work on that detail of that because now I've got the collarbone in it. I've got a place to attach it, the muscles and that. The face will come later. Um, I'm going to put a floppy hat on his uh, head. But i got to be careful because, boy, I tell you, if you're going to make a mold and you want to make a one-piece mold, uh, you got to be careful what you do with the uh, something like a hat. So we'll figure that all out tomorrow or next day. Anyway, have a great night, everybody.